Hello and welcome to our next video. This is what? Lesson uh, uh, 17 and uh, this is uh, Unity 3D C Sharp and this is on creating objects. Now if you recall from our previous video, our previous lesson, we talked about creating a class and this is what we had. This is our class. All of this was our class definition. And what's important is that the name of our class is a monster. And we could use any legal identifier for that. And it had four properties in it. And it had one method, which would show the, the data of each of the monsters. In and of itself, uh, this did nothing but be a blueprint for monsters that I wanted to create it. And so what I promised you in the last video is that I'd show you how to make objects from this blueprint. And I'm going to click here onto the next one. And there it is. And down here under void start, this is where I'm using uh, the class. What I have here is I have a data type, a monster, and a variable identifier called monster01. Now you say, wait a minute, what is that? That is the same thing as int is for age, or string is for name. A monster up here is the name of the class. So what I can do is I can say, okay, I want to use that class that I defined, that blueprint, and I want it for a monster that I'm going to identify as M01. I could use any legal identifier here. I could have typed out the word monster one or whatever, as long as it's a legal identifier. The same, same thing applies before. And it's going to be a new, a monster. In other words, a new, using that blueprint. So create an object identified as M01. So I've created an object, and the object is now M01. And what does M01 have? Well, M01 has, uh, properties. It has a race, and I use the dot operator to associate the variable race with the, pro with the, the object M01 that I created. I instantated the object M01. So it has a race, it has a name, it has age, and it has health. How do I know that? Because I look up here at the, at the blueprint, and I see that's what it has. Okay, it doesn't make any difference what order I assign them. And so I do, what I've done here is I've instantated three objects, each with a different identifier. They all fit the same blueprint, exact same blueprint. They, I am setting up properties for each one of them. All the properties are set up the same way. I make an association of what property goes with what object by using the dot operator, this dot right there. So I see that, that race dot for MO2, that's for monster MO2, okay? And monster MO2, its race, name, age, and health all belong to Minky, who is a zombie. And I do the same thing down here for uh, the, uh, the uh, teeny, the, uh, tiny, the spider. Now, when I want to use a method, because keep in mind we talked about that what a class had, it had two major sections. It had the properties, which were nothing more than variables, and then it had uh, methods, and in this case, uh, well, methods are nothing more than functions. And in this case, it just had one me method, and that was to print all this stuff out. So when I, when I uh, set it up to do a property, a property has a value, so it has to be equal to something. But when I call a method, a method is simply using a function. And it says, okay, you want to call the method monster data, right? Where did I get this from, monster data? That's the name of the function that is associated with that. See, there it is, monster data, right there, okay? So it says, well, what monster data do you want? Well, I want the monster data that's associated with the object. There's the association operator, the dot, the object M01. Now I want the monster data that's associated with object M02 and the monster data is associated with object MO3, right? So this is how I use a class. This is how I instantate, how I instantate objects from the class definition. 
This is the class definition up here. Generally, in a, in, a, in a real situation, when I would use this, this I would hide in a different file. I would hide this because what I've done is I've encapsulated all this stuff. The player really doesn't need to know how I coded this. All they need to know is what's available to them in terms of uh, the properties and what's available to them in terms of the, of the um, methods. Now you say, how do I find this out? Well, when you use Unity and you go up to the help menu and you look at the help for, for C sharp and what have you, everything in there is about objects. Everything in there is using, uh, well, not everything, but the majority of stuff in there is using the dot operator. And you don't see how they construct their classes, but you do see what's available for use. That's how the whole thing is made. So you might say, you mean to tell me that I've got to do this uh, hand code for each and every one of them? Well, I'll tell you a secret. You don't. Professional programmers don't do that. In, in, in future videos, I'll show you how to generate <clears throat> thousands, instantate thousands of monsters in seconds uh, that all have names and they all have races and ages and health and they can have all other kinds of stuff and they have all kinds of methods. There, there's there's professional ways of doing this that really simplifies the coding and makes you look like a super duper expert. And that's the expert you're going to become. So let's try this. I, I go to my camera object here and I scroll down here and I see that I have the monster script there. And let's see if it actually works. I'm going to click on this, fingers crossed, and there it is. There's everybody listed just like it was before. But now done in a cleaner, uh, simpler, easier to program, uh, easier to troubleshoot, infinitely easier to maintain way. All right, uh, that's it for, uh, for this lesson, and um, thank you for watching.